Welcome to the SharePoint online demonstration, part of IM Group's Microsoft Office 365 demonstration series. In the next 10 minutes we'll show you how easy it is to set up a SharePoint site within Office 365 and do some simple collaboration. With SharePoint you can create a website literally in minutes. With just the click of a button you can choose the type of site you want to create. Either a public website for people outside your organisation or a private website for internal use. In this scenario, Arthur contacts Christos through Link, part of Office 365, regarding the creation of a SharePoint site. For this demo, we'll be creating a new private site collection for the CRM department of the organization. You do this by going to the Admin console on the Office 365 environment and selecting Manage Site Collections. To create a new site is as simple as clicking your site collections on the left-hand side and then selecting New Private Site Collection or Public Website. Within a few clicks your website will be ready. All you need to do is provide some basic information such as the name of the primary administrator, the storage size and the resources of the site. You can choose amongst various templates to create your site and even create your own custom template to match the layout of your organization's other sites. Let's specify the name of the primary administrator the storage size and the resources of the site. You can always come back to this menu and add more storage space if you need to upload more material on your site. And then click OK. Within a few minutes your website will be ready to be customised. Let's open the site and see how it looks at this stage. To edit a site, you simply click Site Actions and select Edit Page. If you use Office 2007-2010, you'll notice that the familiar user ribbon will appear on the top with all the tools you need to customise your site. Let's add a web part so that the CRM team can share documents on the site. A web part is a reusable component that can be used on many different pages and multiple sites. SharePoint offers a large collection of web parts that can be easily added to your site without the need for special IT skills. Let's search for the document web part and then add it to the site. As you can see with the list of web parts here this is very easy to do. Now we can start uploading shared documents for other team members to see. Let's give Arthur the address to the site. We could have emailed the URL but we'll send it through link. As we can see Arthur is available. All Arthur needs to do is click on the link and then add it to his favourites. Granting permissions to a new user is as simple as clicking Site Action, Share Site and providing the name of the person you want to give access to. As we can see there, Arthur had just uploaded a few documents into the Shared Documents Library. Now let's make Arthur the owner of the site so he can manage his team site without the need to contact his IT or the Operations Department. You can give different types of access to any user and even give access to authorised people outside your organisation. As we've seen before, Link is integrated directly with SharePoint, 
and link integration enables you to collaborate with any colleague straight from your site. You can click on the presence bubble next to the name of a contact and send an email, an instant message or even initiate a call. As you can see Arthur is available and we can initiate a link conversation directly. By clicking on the name of a user, you can see the profile of each user. Here we can see Christos's posts, contact details, his position in the organisation and can even interact with his colleagues. Ken's profile states that he has cloud and infrastructure skills, so we think he might be the right person to ask how to send an email alert when somebody uploads a new document on the site. Okay. Ken seems to be away for 50 minutes, so let's try and figure out this one out by ourselves. SharePoint lets us automate tasks and make our lives easier. Let's look at an example. We can set up email alerts on a variety of job boards. Let's create a new one that will alert us whenever a new document is added on the CRM Shared Documents Library. This pop-up is the email confirming that the email alert has actually been set up. So we now we can close the site and then work on other things. We can now see that someone has uploaded a document from the pop-up. As you can see the email alert has direct links to our document. We can even modify our alert settings directly from this email. One of the more advanced features of SharePoint Online is the ability to display Visio and Excel data directly on your site. If you have SharePoint Plan 2 you can take advantage of the advanced features of SharePoint Online. Let's open this Sales Data Excel spreadsheet. Here we have the option to view the document within the browser without worrying if Microsoft Office is installed on the machine you're working on. If you have purchased Office Web Apps or Office 365, you'll able to edit the document in the browser. Let's publish the chart on the portal site so that everyone can see it. To do this we simply create a new image viewer web part. We drag it to the desired location in the site and we can then edit its properties and provide the URL of the chart. Now this web part is directly linked with the Excel spreadsheet and will automatically update whenever the data in the spreadsheet changes. Let's edit the spreadsheet to demonstrate this. This is the data behind the chart. For example it could be your organization's sales forecast. Let's set the middle column to zero and as we can see the chart here has been updated. Closing the spreadsheet will automatically save it. After refreshing the CRM site you can see that the new data has been populated to the web part. Now let's create a new slide library web part. Here you can upload your organization's slides and everyone will be able to create their PowerPoint presentations by using any slides from this library. The slide library has been created and we can now start uploading our company PowerPoint presentations. 
we can select individual pages from each PowerPoint presentation and upload them in the company slide library for everyone to see and use. To create a new PowerPoint presentation, simply navigate to this library and select the slide you want to use. These will then be imported as a new presentation. Now you can save your presentation on your personal machine, on a USB or email it to a colleague and every time you open the presentation its content will synchronize with the presentation on SharePoint as long as you're connected over the web. On this video we have demonstrated a very small subset of the capabilities of SharePoint Online, part of Microsoft Office 365. In future demonstrations we will show more advanced capabilities such as automating business processes. Thank you for joining IM Group, Microsoft's leading cloud partner and premier provider of global online solutions and services. The exciting new features in Office 365 we demonstrated are designed to help you build online sites fast and speed up staff communication and collaboration wherever you are. IAM Group provides end-to-end -end services from consulting, proof of concepts and solution implementation through to migration, training and support. If you'd like to know more, just visit our websites or come to one of our regular seminars. Best of all, give us a call and we'll be happy to talk to you in confidence.